When you play as the Dark Urge in Baldur's Gate, the entire game feels different. From the first step out of the Elithid Pod at the start of the game, it is made quite clear that you are something different. Your character has no prior memory of who they once were or how they got on the Nautiloid. But not only that, you'll start to have these interesting conversation choices. Some you can choose. Other choices are forced upon you. With some of these actions making you question who or what exactly are you. But as you continue the story of Baldur's Gate, you'll be introduced to a new character that I would like to focus on for this video. Skeletus fell. Your loyal and ever adoring butler. Scalaritus acts as a guide for the Dark Urge, helping them remember who they were and reach their full potential. But there is also an item that lets the Dark Urge recover a prior memory, and that is when you consume the Noble Stock. And the memory that you recover will change before and after you meet Scalaritus Fell. To find the Noble Stock, Go to the Underdark and head over to the Dread Hollow and approach the glowing green field where you'll be stopped by Balin. Stop! Stop! Before bang! You can quickly save Balin by tossing him a scroll of Misty Step, and once he is to safety, he will leave. Once you examine the Bibberbang field, you'll see the Noble Stock in the corner as well as a lit torch. And I think we all know what happens if you leave the torch lit. And if the explosions occur, you'll find that the Noble Stock has burned away with the Bipper Bangs. So in order to safely recover the Noble Stock, you need to remove the torch. You can jump over and pick it up, use a mage hand to toss it away, or even just throw some water at it. The choice is yours. And after dealing with the lit torch, you can simply jump over and grab the Noble Stock. but be sure to move back to safety before consuming. Now let's see what memory we recover if we have not yet met Scalaritus Fell. As you snaffle the pungent mushroom, a lone memory unfolds in your rancid cortex, a babe brained by your hand. Better to die than live on an earth walked by you. Each of your deaths is a mercy. The fore or hind court will make a reasonable dish, and seasoned with a little pepper or salt will be very good boiled on the fourth day, especially in winter. The memory you recover is quite disturbing, and shows that you're a pretty messed up person. But that memory changes if you consume the Noble Stock after meeting Scleritus Fell. And here is that memory. Before we get to the good part, I wanted to say thank you for watching my videos. If you are enjoying my content, hit that subscribe button. It's free and it definitely helps me out a lot. Thanks again, and back to the cutscene. As you choke down the acrid mushroom, the memory embraces your unlovable carcass. You see a grand collection. Shelves of jarred, floating, pickled organs neatly labeled. Taxidermied beasts and men, elegantly displayed from your killings. A study, no doubt, arranged neatly by your gentleman's gentle goblin. As you and your butler perform a vivisection, Scalaritas's claw slips, calipers cutting the aorta of the living, screaming victim. With a hiccup, you discover him to be drunk yet again from imbibing the tonsil stone pickling water. As the memory begins to clear away, one thing is certain. The butler lies not about his past service. His tears mingle in with the golden fountain.
As the memory begins to clear away, one thing is certain. The butler lies not about his past service. This is not your first time unraveling a long intestine left-handed, but each time you swear up a storm, hoping it will be your last. As the memory begins to clear away, one thing is certain. The butler lies not about his past service. It's interesting to see how the memory changed. Scalaritus Fell becomes part of the memory that you have. And I believe it's the game's way of telling you that there is some insight to what Scalaritus has to say. And maybe you, as the player, should listen. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.